Morning, all. So it's um, ten past seven. Um, middle of the week. Quite a boring one. I'm going to see if I can get to Berry, do a bit of shopping, grab a couple of bits, and uh, try and have a chill out because half term's coming up, and I want to try and be calm for half term. Scratch that. Clara's been sent home from school unwell. She's running a temperature, and so they sent her home. But it means that I'm a bit stuck when it comes to doing stuff. <sighs> so it's now Thursday. Clara is now back at school. <laughs> it was nothing. She had a cough one day, and the school said she was tired and grumpy and she's just sitting in the reading corner just quietly all morning it's all like I think you need to come pick her up and she needs to go home and have a nap like, oh dear so I picked her up loaded her in the car thought like you're right Clara yeah fine so, okay let's get home temperature a bit high I gave some cowpoll and then she was fine <laughs> she was happy she was bouncy she was talkative she did not stop and then we went to go and pick up Seb at half past three <laughs> so that's that's it she just she perked up I gave her some cowpole last night and I checked with the school they said that if her temperature's low enough she can come in so it was she's gone it, it's so yeah so today I'm doing all the stuff that I didn't do yesterday and all the stuff that I was going to do today, I've kind of put off. Except for the fact I've got the computer club today, the kids. So I need to, I do need to plan these lessons in advance, actually. No, I did actually achieve stuff today, though. <clears throat> I mean, I went shopping, um, but I bought new trainers for everybody. So both the kids have got a new set of trainers. They both match, and neither of them complain that theirs is different but I also had a look for me so I had my feet measured now these are my shoes these are the shoes I've worn for years pre-covid they are falling apart in all the worst possible ways um you could get your finger underneath them um and so I bought a new pair of shoes and but I got my foot measured to make sure I got the right shoes so these are my old shoes uh, these are my new shoes with the heels together, you may notice that these shoes are remarkably longer and wider. So the reason my feet have hurt is because I'm not a size 11, I'm a size 12 and a half on my feet. My feet have grown again, something that hasn't happened for many years, <laughs> or if it has, I hadn't noticed. So, yeah, my feet are going to be a lot more comfortable now. I, I never even realised. Um, so once I'd done the shopping and surprised myself with a new set of shoes, then I went back to the school. It's Because it's Thursday, it's club day. So I went back, did the club, and I was thinking, I'll just do the club and I'll go. Uh, get back home, do stuff. Well, I got there, I did the club, and then someone said, oh, by the way, can you just do this quickly? As you do. And so I'm, yeah, fine. And it's, oh, by the way, the uh, PC in the hall, the mouse button's not working. Can we swap it out for a, a different one? So I'm, okay. It's not a mouse, it's a trackpad. So that was easy enough. Spare laptop, swap over the um, hard drives, and it's just, you know, new laptop uh, running the hall now. Fine. And um, so I'm like, oh, our Chromebooks have got charged, which has now been pat tested. Can you wire up another cupboard? So, yeah, so I started with this. <clears throat> and then I did this. Um, it's kind of halfway through being tidied up. It, it was much better than that when I, when I left, so it's perfectly safe. It's a weird cupboard. It turns on and off automatically um, based on some times you set so it doesn't overcharge or spend a lot of money if you're on economy seven. So it, but nobody knew that. 
So I'm checking this and it's sort of like, because I left it unplugged for so long, it defaulted to original instructions. It's sort of like, I've got to go through the whole setup process. Found the instruction book online. It was sort of like, okay, so this only turns on for eight hours a day and you select the start time for it to turn on. It's all sort of like, oh crap. And it doesn't turn on a weekend. It knows what day it is. It's sort of like, it will not turn on a Saturday or Sunday. <laughs> so yeah, that was, that was interesting. Because I for a long time wondered why sometimes it just didn't appear to charge at all. It's all like, well, that would be why. <laughs> um, but yeah, so so I've talked to the teachers. I've set up some times. At least the week's nearly over with. And I think we've got one more week, then it's half term, I think. I can't remember now. The days have all blended together again, but the evenings are getting lighter, which I'm really enjoying. Anyway, enough of me. See you again. Bye for now. There's not enough room to exit that way, so I'll just stand here. Have you gone yet?